Hi and welcome. In this video, we'll show you how to create a beautiful Mother's Day project. Using the Fortis CNC router from MakerStore, we'll walk through the toolpath setup from start to finish, then watch the machine bring the design to life. Let's get started. In this video, we'll be using VCarve Pro a powerful CAM software. If you're new to VCarve Pro, we've written a detailed guide that walks you through how to use the software step by step. You'll find the article link in the description below. Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more CNC projects and tutorials. We've got more designs coming your way, just like this one for Mother's Day. With our project file ready, we'll set the job type to single-sided with a work area of 350 by 350 millimeters matching the size of our final cut. Once that's set, click OK. Next, we'll import the vector we want to cut. Go to File, Greater Than Import Vectors and Bitmap. Then select your design file. Hit F9 to center the design on the workspace and scale it if needed using the Transform tool. Now we can start setting up our toolpaths. Uh, first up is the pocketing toolpath. This will clear out the inner shapes, like the space between the mother and child. Select the vectors for the cavities you want to pocket, then click on the pocket toolpath icon. We'll set the cut depth to 18.5 millimeters, slightly deeper than our material thickness since timber can vary. Next, choose the tool. We'll use a straight cut end mill from the Maker Store tool library. Preloaded with speeds and feeds to make setup easy. We're using the six millimeter chip breaker straight cut end mill tool code 218. All the settings like feed rates and pass depths are pre-filled, but you can tweak them if needed. Enable ramping at 5mm to protect the tool and ensure a smoother cut. Rename this toolpath to something clear, in this case, Mother's Day Pocket Cut. Click Calculate. Then preview the toolpath to check that everything is cutting correctly. Looks good. You can increase tool size if needed, but we're happy with this detail. Now we'll move on to the profile cut. This will cut out the outer shape of the project. Select the outer vector, then click on Profile Toolpath. Set the start depth to zero and the cut depth to 18.5 millimeters, same as before. We'll use the same six millimeter end mill, yet it's versatile enough for both pockets and profiles. Now for finishing touches, enable a last pass with a 0.2 millimeter allowance to clean up the edges. We'll also reverse the last pass direction to remove any machine deflection. Add tabs to hold the piece in place during cutting. This helps prevent it from becoming a projectile once it's free. Set each tab to six millimeters long and three millimeters thick. Easy to remove later with a knife. Place tabs manually at key points around the design. Enable ramping again with the same 5mm depth. Then rename this toolpath as Mother's Day Profile Cut. Click OK and preview the profile cut.
you'll see the tabs in place, holding the workpiece securely. Once everything looks good, it's time to save the G-code. We'll combine both toolpaths into one file, first the pocket, then the profile. Make sure the correct post processor is selected. In this case, the MakerStore GRBL processor, compatible with XPRO VOR5, E5X, and similar controllers. Click Save Toolpath and save it into your working folder. That's it. You're ready to run the program on your Fortis router CNC. If you're enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more CNC projects from MakerStore. The workpiece is secured using our T-Track hold down clamps, available from MakerStore. Now let's prepare the machine for cutting, starting with framing. We're using IOSender as our machine control software. It connects to the CNC and lets us load G-code, move the machine, and start or stop cuts, all from one interface. Before we start any cutting, we always frame the job. In this case, we first click Outline. This tells the machine to move along the outer boundary of the job, showing us exactly where the cut will happen. Then we press go, and the spindle follows the path at a safe height without touching the material. Framing acts like a dry run, helping us double check the position, confirm the size, and make sure everything fits within the stock. It's a quick and simple step, but it can save a lot of material and prevent broken tools later on. Next up is probing. This step tells the machine exactly how long your tool is, crucial for accurate depth control. We're using a 6mm 3 flute carbide end mill, straight cut with chip breaker tips. It's available from MakerStore and works great for timber projects like this. Place the probe block on the machine bed and move the tool above it. Lower the Z-axis until the tool touches the block. The machine will automatically detect the tip and record the correct tool length. Probing ensures your cuts start at the right depth, not too deep and not too shallow. Now that the tool is zeroed, we're ready to begin cutting. And one quick safety reminder, always wear safety glasses and stay clear of the machine while it's running. If you're new to IO Sender, we've put together a step-by-step -step guide to help you get started. If you'd like to learn more, just check out the article. I've dropped the link in the description below. We're starting the pocketing process by clicking Cycle Start to begin the cut. But right after that, we press Feed Hold. This pauses the feed motion while the spindle keeps spinning. It's a quick way to check if everything's running smoothly without committing to the full cut. After that, we press Stop to completely halt the job and use jog mode to manually move the spindle. This lets us double check positioning, the depth of cut, or any unusual noise we might have noticed. Once we're confident everything looks right, we restart the job by hitting cycle start again. If you're enjoying the video so far, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more MakerStore CNC projects. To help keep the cutting area clear of dust and chips, we're using a manual air gun connected to a compressed air line. It's a simple but effective way to improve visibility during cutting and keep things tidy.
Once the pocket is complete, we move on to the profile cut. This cut took about 40 minutes in real time. Once the toolpath is done, we'll stop and move the spindle out of the way. Be ready for the final touches. We're left with a clean outline held in place by four tabs. Carefully cut through the tabs using a utility knife. Take your time here to avoid chipping the edges. Next, we'll clean up those tab marks using a belt and disc sander. This smooths out the edges and gives the whole piece a refined finish. To bring out the grain and protect the timber, we're applying a coat of timber wax. It enhances the natural colour and gives the surface a soft sheen. Once the front is dry, flip it over and repeat on the back for an even finish all around. And that's it, project complete. We hope this Mother's Day piece inspires you to create something special for your loved ones. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you want to see more CNC projects like this, don't forget to subscribe and follow us. Your support is what keeps us creating. Thanks for watching.